you know, I think when we get to be this age, we all have a card we have to play that's going to be a difficult thing. And if, my, if this is mine, then so be it. Uh, I'll do it without, without griping about it. This journey through um, life is continuous on plateau. It goes from one stage and it jumps up a little level, falls back down, goes up to a new plateau, and that's how his journey process he explains to us and tries to make jokes about it, but sometimes we don't really <laughs> understand what he's joking about, but we always laugh and smile. You can't, you can't cave into the disease by worrying about yourself and by worrying about the disease. You, you just do the best you can, keep a positive framework, uh, going on upstairs. Just knowing the struggles he go th goes through every day kind of goes on to the team. It makes us kind of want to work hard for him and I think that's why our program has been so successful in the last couple years which is the amount of fight that we put in and I think we do it for him in a way. Well, when you think about neurological diseases like Parkinson's uh, one can only become frustrated. It, it, it occurs to me that the medication I'm now taking is the same as the medication that was developed some 50 years ago. There's been no significant advance in, in the course of medication to treat this disease. That's unbelievable to me. Fortunately, here at the University of Minnesota, where I was diagnosed and, and have lived the last several years, we live, I live right in the midst of an incredible effort by the university uh, through their laboratory research and and so on to, to see what can be done about this disease. Uh, we're, we're right here on the cutting edge. Uh, I, have to, I live with it every day, and so do the other people who have these kinds of diseases. And my frustration becomes even greater when I realize that if we can only get a few people to, to write a couple of checks and, and donate to the research effort that's going on right now, my life would become a lot easier. And I don't want to be selfish about it, but that's how I look at it. It's, a, it's very frustrating. So I, as, I, as I think about uh, being here at the University of Minnesota and I've been able to tour the labs here and seen the progress that they're making right here at this university. Uh, all I can think about is trying to convince a few people to support the research and get off of a little bit of that hard-earned money and help out. I feel like he's inspired all of us and I'm, we're always going to keep him in mind when we're playing to just fight with the same drive that he does and we're going to miss him a lot here, but he'll never be forgotten. I um, really looked up to him. He really inspired me through my life, through volleyball, the whole process. I couldn't have done anything without him. You know, I have a great deal of uh, pride and a great deal of empathy for all those who, like me, are going through something like this. For, uh, the journey of 10,000 miles starts with the first step, and I can name you a lot of cliches. But I think we're on our way and I just hope everybody will get on board. <laughs>